It's been over 40 years since Knight first released the Knight Mac Attack. I've got it in my hand today. It's the new colorway, brand new colorway. But did Knight get it a little bit wrong? Stay tuned to find out. So I was lucky enough to get my hands on the Nike Mac Attack Red Crush that released on July 21st. And shout out to Seven Store because I ordered it on the 21st and it came today. So that's like, what, two days shipping. I'm actually very thankful because I could have been waiting until next week. But luckily we got it just in time so I could do the video for you guys before you stop caring about it. In my hand, we have got the Nike Mac Attack Red Crush. This is the box and the box is very similar to the 1984 iteration. However, it is a little bit updated, but we do have the checkerboard detailing and the red Nike branding on it as well. Just to kind of tie it back into the OG release. Other than that though, everything is pretty much the same. The color of the greys, pretty similar. The checkerboard detailing, as I mentioned, is pretty one and one so i like what they've done here and i like the fact that nike are delving into the archives to bring us new silhouettes because it was getting a little bit tired so let's break it open and let's see what it's all about so in my hand we've got the Nike mac attack red crush that released on july the 21st and the shoe was made famous by john McEnroe, famous tennis player iconic tennis player back in the 80s and i mean it's not a bad shoe looking at it but we're gonna break down everything about the shoe, the details, the sizing and everything else. So boy, if you wanna know and you are looking to get a pair and you think you just wanna know a little bit more information before you do, make sure you watch to the end. So as I've mentioned, Nike have reached into the archives to pull up an 80s iteration of the Nike Mac Attack. It's not an OG colorway, unfortunately, but this is a colorway that we've never seen before on the shoe. Originally, the OG colorways were the black and gray one that I think released last month. But I don't know if it actually got a wider release just yet. And there was a white and black pair as well. Very minimal. That hasn't released yet. And we are due to see many more colorways on the way. Let me know initially your first thoughts of the shoe, whether you picked up pairs, uh, whether you're thinking about it. News started circulating around the Mac Attack back in 2021 when we saw LeBron James and Travis Scott both wearing the Mac Attack. And everybody was looking towards it like, okay, this is the next big thing. We've since seen Travis Scott come out and he's wearing a reverse swoosh one, indicating that there is possibly a Travis Scott Mac Attack collaboration in the works. And of course, if you haven't seen it yet, we saw Travis in the Nike Mac Attack ad with tennis legend John McEnroe himself indicating that this is gonna be something that Nike are pushing heavily for. So moving on to the shoe now, and a lot of you are probably thinking already as you're watching it, it looks very similar to the New Balance 550 shape, and that is because it basically came from the same era. However, this is a tennis shoe, and the 550 was a basketball shoe originally. But let's break it down, and let's see what the details are saying, and let's see what it's all about. So first of all, I have to comment on how clean and minimal the design is. It's something that I'm really a fan of. I like the way they've done the color palette on it, and I like the fact that it's summer we've got a clean white shoe but it's not all white you've got some red detail in there as well it just really adds a nice little contrast of color to it but on the base of the shoe we've got mesh detailing similar to the original and then on top of that we've got leather overlays in white premium it's nice leather as well the rounded toe box similar to what you've seen on the 550 leather on the heel as well and an extended or an elongated achilles heel support that sits at the back of the shoe with nike lettering behind it as well now this looks to be a little bit lower than the original 1984 version, but I like the fact that it's still a little bit extended so it gives you some support in the back of your foot. Instantly the red pops against the white and it's a, like I said, it's a very nice stark contrast. It's something that's very eye-catching and it's not too assuming. It's very like underrated, understated. You've also got some red detailing there along the bottom of the heel counter as well and obviously around the ankle and Achilles support. Nike swoosh on the midfoot on both sides. White midsole on the foot matches the rest of the upper. You also got that same checkerboard print detailing that we saw on the box, on the tongue tab with the Nike insignia as well. However, on the OG colorways and the other 2023 pair, the OG 2023 pair that we saw, the detailing is actually the same as it was on the box and it's black and blue. However, here to match the color palette of the shoe, they've gone with more of a tan and white one. Quite nice, quite a nice detail. And again, it doesn't take too much away from the rest of the shoe. Flat laces, I can't stand rope laces. Flat laces, it has to be. And as well as that, you've got like a foam vamp as well on the throat for comfort when you're wearing them. So you can wear them, I would say you can probably wear them all day and they won't be too uncomfortable, but don't quote me on that. Make sure you get your right size. I'll get onto that in a minute. Turning the shoe over now and on the outsole, you've got star detailing all around, along with like this herringbone traction pattern and obviously more Nike branding there. You've got soft padding on the inner lining. It feels like terry cloth. 
so it wicks away the sweat and you know it's it's gonna be comfortable it's gonna be easy to wear and i feel like it will be comfortable to wear all day long just because of that that support there is what you need on shoes because when it's too rigid it rubs and it just hurts so having the pad in here i definitely think will help make it a lot more comfortable so more detailing and this is paying homage to its 1984 roots is on the inside lining what you've got is the style code and the size and that's what they used to do back in the day with sports model shoes moving on and you've got a red insole inside the shoe no night branding on it whatsoever which i found quite weird in terms of sizing now similar to the 550 or what i hear about the 550 they are very 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 snug so i would say go true to size or half a size up because I mean, these are a size lower this is all i could get and i wanted to do the unboxing for you guys so I would say get your size or maybe half a size up because they do fit very snug. I know I'm saying that after buying a size 10, but usually I can wear size 10s and it's okay because I'm, I'm a very small 11, or I'm a big 10 rather. So I would just say to be on, to err on the side of caution, make sure you get your size or maybe half a size up, but they think they should be cool. So these were 130 pounds retail and it's pretty similar to what the New Balance 550 was. So for the same kind of shoe, it's around the same kind of money. It's in that mid tier category, especially in today's world of actual, like today's the sneaker market today, where everything is like 200 pound cheapest. Yeezys, Jordan 4s, everything's like 200 pound cheapest. It's crazy. So I feel like this on the, for the lower end, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, but you still want to look good, grab a pair of these. Now, as much as I like the colorway of the shoe and I like what Nike have done, I do have one crit and that is the fact that I think they may be a little bit late to the party as I mentioned they're very similar to the 550 and the 550 came out maybe like what, two three years ago and it kind of had its run and then fell off a cliff because the New Balance were just mass producing them so after collaboration with Amy Leon Door, they really took off and everybody was wearing them they were that staple summer shoe so I feel like now the fact that Nike has released it in 2023 even though they've got the backing of Travis Scott and John McEnroe and LeBron James and Nike is Nike right so they are the kings of the sneaker thing i still think they were a little bit late to the party and i'm not sure if they could reignite the hype that the shoe initially had but let me know if you think i'm wrong in the comments below and let me know if you think you're going to be buying these in the coming future there are going to be more coming as well you're going to have the social status collaboration potentially the travis scott and i'm sure there's going to be a lot more let me know what you think about the shoe in the comments below let me know if you think there is space in today's market. I, what I do like about today's market is that it's very free at the moment. So you can wear whatever you like. The hype has died down a lot. And I feel like it's now is the perfect time to just kind of dip into other silhouettes and see what you actually like as opposed to just what's hype. But I don't know if there's a place in today's market for the mass audience or the mass consumption. But I might be wrong. Like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. If you have, hit the like button and subscribe, drop me a comment. I appreciate all your likes and your comments and your engaging with the videos. It makes me wanna make more videos. So thank you to all of my loyal subscribers that have been doing it from day one. I appreciate you, you'll never know how much I do. I might actually have to say I appreciate you and give you a giveaway when I hit like a certain amount and I'll do a giveaway and give away a free pair of trainers to my subscribers to say thank you for supporting me up until this part of the journey here i know i haven't really been very consistent with it but i'm trying to get more consistent again but releases have been a bit trash and if you're looking for more content be sure to check out my last video as i was roaming around sneaker shops in london trying to find the rarest pair that they had in store i did find a couple so make sure you go check that out and i'll see you next time for another video peace